members of staff, parents and uh, students. Good evening. Good evening, madam. My name is Lire Mere Ibli. I'm the deputy principal at Bishop Jenga Girls High School. I want to welcome each one of us to this forum. I thank God because of this day. And I want to thank one of us, our sister Mary. She has introduced to us very special guests who are after helping the needy in the society. This is a group that has put a smile on many people in the society. And today they have visited us in Archbishop Jenga Girls. And I believe by the end of the society of the day, we are going to have many girls smiling. Being a big institution, we have different challenges. We have students who come from different backgrounds. Some come from good backgrounds. Some come from desperate backgrounds. We have those who have even just come to school desperate with totally nothing, no fees, no uniform, no shopping, no nothing. We have tried to help them as much as we can. I want to thank the parents of Bishop Jenga girls who when we send a cry to help us needy kitty, some of them have been giving us a hundred shillings, which may not really be enough to cater for the needs of all these girls. But somehow we say thank you. May God bless us. And our guests, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for visiting us today. We say welcome to Archbishop Njenga Girls. We know you are going to bring a change here. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Mary. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm humbled. I'm so humbled. I really thank God for this school. This is my home. This is a school that nurtured me. I'm who I am because of this school. I feel so broken when I see my own sisters now. In a school where I was, I want to encourage you that you're in the right place. I want to promise you that this school can turn you into your dreams, amen? Amen. I want to tell you that we're in the right place. This is where some of us grew. We fed from the same dining hall. We sat on the same chairs, taught by the same staff. I'm just holding tears back when we hear these sad stories. I came across a foundation which I watched on YouTube. And I thought of my school. I was seeing other schools. I, I see a, a girl here crying. Just because parents can't afford. Don't worry. It's a passing cloud, amen? It's something that is going to pass away. It, it has gone, okay? So when I met them, I told them I was in a certain school that is still brilliant. This is, this is not a small school. This is a school that is going to be among the best internationally, not at national levels. So I told them, come with me, please. Come, I take you to my school. I love this school. This is the school that brought me up. Most of you who have watched me on TVs, you've watched me. This is where I came from, here. So I'm speaking to doctors, teachers, leaders, great people. Madam, this is the school to be. Please take them one by one. Listen to them. Touch their lives, change their lives, transform them. Plus the neighbors who are here. Our parents, when you muko hapa, tunawakaribisha sana. Musi ogope. Mficha uchi ya zai. Mficha uchi? Mficha uchi ya zai. Kama sisi tungeficha uchi zetu atunge za. Kama ningesema nisitambue hii shule, atunge fika hapa. But because I love you. I love you. I, I love my school. Nimelelewa hapa nilipendwa sana. Nilipendwa sana na principal wa shule. Ndio kwa maana siwezi kusahau shule. Amen. I love you so much. I love you. Thank you Madam Mary Ayo, uh, the deputy of uh, Archbishop Njenga, walimu. Uh, 
tumekuja kuwatembelea we had there are so many need cases here na kweli naona ni over a hundred plus but it's okay everything will be fine na nilikuwa nataka niongee na a few stories because we cannot talk all of us just a few maybe like 10 waonge on behalf of their fellow students tafadhali the first student to come yeah charity charity come mbele tafadhali be first Just tell us your name and the, the, how you want to be helped. Start. I'm Ongera I'm Charity Adiga and I'm in form 3 and my mother died when I was in class 2. And I don't know where my father is. And I've been living with my uncle. Who sometimes gets hard times to pay for my school fees. Sometimes I come to school just without anything. Because he has many people to take care of. And he also has his children. And also my sister who is there. And I experience very many problems which make it difficult even when I want to learn. Do you live around? No. Okay. I come from my love. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, my name is Naida Baraka. I'm from from 3. In our family we are we, uh, we Okay, kwa familia yetu tuko 7. Mimi wa 5. Sasa huyu first born wetu ako first year. Alafu babangu ni boda boda na mamangu ni housewife. Sasa inafika pale. Hadi mimi nikitaka kuja shule anakosa school fees. Sasa inabidi tu ameku nimekuja alafu akitutuma school fees nenda na kaa nyumbani sana na hadi na shingo vile ndafanya sasa inafika inafika pale kwa class nikikaa na nataka so nataka kusoma eh concentration na inakuwa kidogo uko uko form 3 form 3 how is how is your performance in school she's a bright one yo Okay last ni parasi plus na mimi naona mkitusaidia naweza ongeza labda Who do you want to be in future? I want to be a doctor. A doctor. Mm. It is possible. Okay. You can be you are going to be one okay? Thank you so much. My name is Rebecca Nilima from from 2. Um my father alipata accident akenda Kenyatta sa aka lose job yake alafu mamangu she's always sick akiata juu shida nini my brother also the same akapata accident so i remember my father and alini leta shule without na yani hakuna kitu madam tiremele ndalini saidia madam sisi kanilia uniform i always come with nothing adin kikula cha kula shule wana juliza na kula what about my siblings what will they eat What a hard question for yourself as a young girl. A lot of responsibility on your head. Don't be sad. I know I said to father let him go to the hospital but he didn't find any barua or cool. Because they're so young and yet I live. 
Aizelo mbona tukule. Mbona twenty shule. Sorry, Madam Ayo. In that case, we have we have two cases like Kwanza, the mom is sick, now they have no food, and secondly, about the, the school fees. So she has, I, I think, like three issues we need to sort out. First, the sick mom, because a sick mom cannot do anything. So we look on the sick mom, the, the issue about food and her school fees. Sawa. My name is my name is Sarah Nafool. My name is Sarah Nafool. You can't do better than that. My name is Sarah Nafool. I've been from one, but when I entered from two, my my parents were not able to pay my fees. My my father is a boda boda man. He's not able because his earnings are not enough to support us. We are train our family, but my mom, my grandparents died and she had to take care of her siblings, so her four siblings rely on her. Then my my parents are not trouble. Then my mother, she relies on some local loans, which she's not able to pay. And sometimes they come, the people come and pay her all the cows that are supposed to sell to an office. They have been paid by the loan, the people on the loan. So she's not able. And our family has been very poor for some time. Why, why are you not in uniform? Where is, which, tell us about your school. My school was Colonia Girls National School. You were in Colonia, Colonia Girls? Yes. So you dropped out because of school fees? Yes. So this year? Yes. You've not been back to school? I've not been informed. I've not entered from two, but I finished four months. So you live around here? Yes. Okay. And you are willing to go to school? I'm very willing. You want to be who in future? A lawyer. A lawyer. Wow. So you will give us your mom's contact? Yes. When we end this, yes. thank you so much, yes. and uh, sorry about everything. Okay. Okay. Any other person? Just two more. Just sit where you are. And we'll come to you. My name is Michelle Patience. I have had a very bad childhood because my mom and my dad had some complications and they had to se they had to separate so we had to we, my we, my mom i and my brother had to go live with my uncle here in Eldoret but my uncle was also had his own challenges because he's the youngest brother to my mother so sometimes it was even hard for us to get food. My mother used to wash for people the clothes so that they can get at least something for us to eat, my brother and I. And my uncle used to just maybe go ask if he can wash someone's car so that she can get that few things. There was once my uncle had not paid the rent and he didn't even tell my mom. So he just went and then the landlord came. After the landlord came, he told my mother that the rent was, paid, was not paid, that we have to leave. We left, then we went to our pastor. The pastor is the one who took us to her home. And then after staying there, she told my mom that she'll give her some money at least so that we can go to my grandmom, 
and stay there with my grandma. When we are there at my grandmother's place, my grandmother had has some complications. Sometimes her pressure is up, down. So we went there. She was saying that we have gone there. She doesn't have anything to to do. She does. What are, what have we gone to do there? And we. She is also desperate. She can't do her thing. My mother had to struggle. By that time, I was in grade six. I didn't go to grade six for the one full, full term. I was just at home, sometimes helping my mother. There was a house which was built. We used to go there, wipe the windows every day so that my mother can get something small that will make at least my grandmother not chase us out because we didn't have anywhere to be. It was just like that. And for me being here, it's just an harambe that they concluded as a family and at least they just got that small thing and my mother just continues doing what she is doing. What's your name? Michelle Patience. Michelle? Patience. Mm-hmm. My mother just do that, but at least the family just tried to help a little bit. So I don't know whatever will happen next, but I just thank God because I'm here, mm-hmm. because it's it will. Mm-hmm. My name is, is Gloria Smukoma. My, my name is Gloria Smukoma. I'm in Form 3. For me, my life is like... my when I, I was raised up well, but it reached a time my father was, was, was working at Walias when it was, it was not developed. So when it was developed, he lost his job. And from there, he has been getting accidents. And and he has an aunt who is in Nairobi, who sometimes helped him money. But it reached a time she said that she is tired of helping him. And my mother, she was working in a hotel where people... People stole everything from her hotel and she remained without anything in her hotel. So, by when we were going, we, were going, we, we, we went on with our life. My mother, can I change my name? Yeah. Any Mama, language you are, you are you're ali, comfortable ali, with? I'll introduce Uko Kamiaga. Kianza, Ukanza, Kuza Kuni, Pagana Tembesha, Tukotan Saidian, Likwa Class 3. Kwa na msaidia kutembesha kuhuni. Kwa maboma vila tuwa ntembesha nga mboga. Nisaidia mtembesha kuhuni. Mm. Babangu kama kwa nyumbani. Lafusa vile nime vile tukendelea. Sista zangu. Tusa saizi si, 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 kwa tusaizi. Unye wako mbele angu. Wali. Wali nda kushi na nko na anti. Tumenye tuko nyumbani tuko wane. Sista. Nini dadangu mwenye amefanya kitu sea nyanyangu ndo walifanya rambe nyumbani wakamlipia enye amejoin saizi junior secondary alafu mimi kukuja shuleni likuwa tu pasta wetu ndo alinisaidia tu kusibaba alipata anitua chivile yes. kanisa gani? eagle messengers eagle messengers kakamega yes. Yes. pasta chivile good endelea Alafu sasa vile akansaidia aka mimi nyumbani vile nakonga nyumbani sasa zingine na mka asubuhi napata kuna majani ya kuna sukari na chemsha tu majio moto na kunywa alafu sasa zingine tunaenda kuuliza mtu kama anataka kulimia kwa shamba tunaenda tunamlimia kwa shamba mimi na madata dadangu class 3 analimanga bitu napata pesa Mm. Ya kwenda kuna nilia skoti nyumbani. Mm. Mm. Niko na marafi zangu nye. Wanajiweza kwa familia zao. Ondo na kujanga. Kwetu. Wananipigisha story. Wananisaidia. Kwa umwaka. Lafu wananiachia kupesa. Hata ndo na kujanga na hapa shule kama puchitumani. Na. Babangu ta. Saizi. Nimipigiwa jusi sima hata nipata kishit. <laughs> Na, na nini 
kwa kila mtu nyumbani hata maankosi kuna mnyataka kwa fimu lakini babangu kuna mnyataka kumsaidia wanamwambia ati angesoma pita angekuwa amesha pata sorry gani gani anaweza kuuliza kwa mzazi kwa mzazi mwalimu na mzazi Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm just a, a PA teacher. I have a cousin here with me. Not, not employed. No. So I was teaching her, but uh, concerning family issues the father and the mother i think they are not in good terms mm. the father listed them i think it was last year so the mother is just struggling she doesn't have work she just depend on uh, casual work hand to mouth so she is unable to take her to school for further studies yeah. so even today i heard about the issue then i just take her from home i brought her here she's here yeah. kuja please please say your name haraka haraka mbona na kuja just tell us your name the one who had just come one tell us your name angela haber you've never been in high school yes ulipata makosa ngapi please give me that Ulipata marks ngapi? 7. Na haujawahi kuenda any this is this is very sad. Yeah. Yes. It, it, we are almost ending the first term. Okay. So you can just sit down. Angela Haber. Haber. Where is the other one without uniform you? Shika. Amka utueleze. Ujawahi kuingia shule? Yes. Ulipata marks ngapi? 319. Ulikuwa umesoma wapi? My way of life. Okay. You 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 see all of this they've never been to school. It's and they're just at home and nobody's doing anything about that. Oh, who do you want to be in future? I want to be a neurosurgeon. Wow. Yes. Students are crying here. I don't know if you can just 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 look at the students crying. All of them are crying because when they hear a story, their story is more worse than the one what they are hearing. If you can just take a look a very close look at the students. All of them are crying and they are in pain and they know what they are going through. Nobody knows that except them and their parents. Mheshimiwa Mr President Ruto tunakuomba come through for this Anyone who's watching us look at the sad faces of our future generation they are crying and they have nothing they have no one to just rely on some are orphans here they have no mother they have no father It's a sad story and I'm, I'm almost crying myself but I'm just holding and being I'm just being strong Elizabeth Minayo Mandiri. Eh? Elizabeth Minayo Mandiri. Elizabeth. Where's your parent? We can just have a word with the parent. Mama Bari. Tueleze kidogo mbona mtoto hajaenda shule? Huyu ni mtoto wa niseme baba yake anaweza niita mimi Shosh. Okay. Eh, sasa ni mtoto baba yake ni mlevi hana mbele wala nyuma. Asubuhi akiamka ni kuishia kwa pombe. E, life ilikuja ikakuwa ngumu na mama yake hadi waka separate. Sasa watoto wamekaa tu na shosho yao na wakati nimesikia hii habari nikakuwa very sorry for this. Nikasema acha nimchukue, nimlete hapa. God will bless Kajua you. Ya kwamba Mungu ako na makusudi. Kabisa God will bless you for that. Naitwa Ruth Mkwana. Zero seven two seven three six nine 
816 Rudia 0727 369 816 Yes madam Mzazi wa Elizabeth Okay okay Jina langu ni Josephine Nabule mzazi wa Ivy Bahoya Ivy Bahoya Yes she got 317 marks. She has been home all this while. Please be. You are the mother. Yes, I'm the mother. She's the first mm. She's my second born. So when she got the marks, I was not able to pay for her school fees. I had totally nothing. The father is educated. He's a university material, but... She doesn't have. He doesn't have any job. Oh, university material. Have any job. Only graduate. Yes. Okay. He has not been employed. He has never been employed. So when I look at my girl, it affects. It just affects me yeah. and even the dad. Mm. No one is happy about no, that. Yeah. So I just thank God. And the girl has done her part. She has made yes. it in class. Now she, it has become a challenge. The girl has done her part. And when she tells me that she has to go to school, I just you lack words. I just lack what to tell her. Just tell us your telephone Please number. number. My number. Zero seven sixteen. Yes, please. Zero zero three. Zero zero three. Two fifty three. Come again. Come again with your number. My number is zero seven sixteen. Yes, please. Zero zero three. Yes. Two fifty three. That is your number. Yeah. Baba, to put your number. Your command number. Your number. Zero seven. Yes. Fifty eight. Yes. 897-399-399. And you're not employed and you're taking care of your relative. Yes. Who has never come back to school. Yes. Did you hear that? Mm. So, we are going to wind up because it's, uh, there's a lot of rain coming and the students have to go back to class. But we appreciate Archbishop Njenga for inviting us and giving us this time to just interact with the students. So this is all about sharing and caring. And uh, let's hope and let's hope and pray that all this shall pass. Uh, I want to wish the students a nice time as we leave and we'll come back as soon as possible. Thank you so much, Archbishop Mama Africa, the teachers, the parents. We are, we are so grateful that you gave us your time. Asante ni sana. Until next time, inshallah.